Dental x-rays are used to see areas of your mouth that are not visible clinically. But is there a certain type of dental x-ray that is better than others? The answer is yes. Digital x-rays may be considered better than others, the others being traditional film x-rays. This is because digital x-rays give off drastically less radiation and they provide better diagnostic quality images. You remember the old school film x-ray where the clinician had to go in the dark room and develop them? I do. I used those in school. And unfortunately, I've heard of some offices still using them. But the thing is, not only do digital x-rays give off less radiation than film, but digital x-rays provide sharper, clearer images which makes them more diagnostic and allows patients to get more efficient care because the detail they show is a huge benefit. Digital x-rays allow us to see things such as a small cavity forming, whereas it's arguable that dental providers maybe used to miss lots of small cavities because the old school film x-rays were hard to read. They weren't as clear. So we love how digital x-rays give off less radiation and we love how they provide us with better, more detailed images. But in addition, not only do they appear conveniently right on the computer, but they also do not require any harsh chemicals to develop them, like the old school film x-rays did. So another benefit is there's no chemical or material waste. Now, back to the low amount of radiation. I actually have a whole video dedicated to explaining how digital x-rays are actually safer than some of the background radiation that you're exposed to on an everyday basis, such as walking outside in the sun, flying on an airplane, and even eating food. So I'll link my x-ray radiation video in the bottom bar if you're interested in learning more. And I also have a radiation chart on my website, teethtalkgirl.com, which includes comparison charts of say eating a banana, which is equivalent to taking two x-ray images. It's interesting stuff, so I'll link all that in the bottom bar below. But for the purpose of this video, back to digital x-rays, which we like because they are better, not all of these digital dental x-rays are created equal. The type of image that your dentist orders will depend on what they need to check for. Here are the four most common types of images. Bite wing x-rays or bite wings. This is the type of x-ray that helps screen for cavities between the back teeth. These are the checkup x-rays, two on each side, which are taken routinely at your dental cleanings. Usually they are about once a year, some patients need them twice a year if they are super cavity prone, and some patients with super low cavity rates may only have them every two years. It really depends on a case-by-case -case situation. Periapicals, also called PAs. When you need to see the entire root and the area around it, like to check for an abscess or a tooth infection, this is the type of image that will be used. It is generally taken if you are having tooth pain or a specific tooth is being monitored for some reason, or if there is reason to believe that there is something going on with a specific tooth or area region of the mouth. Full mouth x-rays, FMX. This is a series of about 18 to 22 images containing both periapicals, PAs, and bite wings to capture all the areas and the teeth in your mouth. This is usually taken when you are a new patient at a dental office, and it usually needs to be updated in your file every three to five years, give or take. Again, do some people need it sooner than three to five years? Yes. Every individual dental case is different depending on a bunch of different variables, such as cavities, gum disease, bone loss, etc. Panoramic or pan. This is a full mouth image that captures your jaw, TMJ, and areas around your wisdom teeth. This one is usually taken for third molar consultations, like if you're about to have your wisdom teeth extracted, and for orthodontic consultations, if you're about to get braces. It can also be used for implants and checking different things in your jaw. Lots of people ask if they can have this instead of the FMX because it's quicker and easier, but unfortunately, this one is not as great for diagnosing the teeth for cavities. The FMX shows much greater detail of each individual tooth than the pan does. The pan is just better to see how the roots of the teeth fit into the jaw and stuff like that. So in conclusion, digital x-rays are better than traditional film x-rays because they give off less radiation, they provide sharper, more accurate images for diagnosing, and they expose us to less chemicals and produce less waste. Within the digital x-ray realm, there are four common types of images. Bite wings, periapicals, full mouth x-rays, and panoramics. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you're interested in more teeth talk and dental stuff, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com, which I will link in the bottom bar below. Peace! Love and teeth.